The UK is a great study destination because you get a two year post study work visa, right? And it doesn't matter what degree you take or it doesn't matter the length of your degree, you get two full years. And like, if you're like in a PhD program, then you even get like three years, right? So one of the constraints for studying in the UK is the fact that you need to prove your English language proficiency. So this is of course like a constraint that's gonna be applied like, you know, whenever you study pretty much anywhere in, an, in a native English speaking country. Right, so you need to prove your English language skills. So outside the US, the main exam that you take to do that is the IELTS. However, there are ways to study in the UK without giving your IELTS, right? The IELTS is just one method of English language proficiency. So there's a lot of ways that you can prove your English language skills besides just taking the IELTS, right? So I'm gonna give you guys in this video like a list of universities that don't require the IELTS for you to prove your proficiency in the English language, right? So if you wanna to get to the list, you know, you can go to this timestamp right here. But before I get to the list, I wanna talk about the ways that, the, that these universities will ask you to prove your English language proficiency outside of, you know, actually taking the IELTS exam. So the first way is that, you know, universities will ask for the medium of instruction of your previous education. So if you're going for like a master's program or something and, you know, you did your bachelor's degree like in India, let's say, and your entire program was in English, if you can prove to them that your entire program was in English by giving them some sort of, you know, certificate from your university, then that's going to be enough. Because then it implies that you were able to study within an institution where, you know, they taught in English, so you read in English, you wrote in English and so on, and therefore it proves your proficiency in the English language. The second way is that, you know, they may ask for an interview, right? So this is kind of rare, but it does happen. So they may ask for like a one-on-one -on -one interview or maybe like a group interview and just to check, you know, if you can speak English well, if you can communicate in English well and so on. Another way is that, you know, they may even check your previous English scores, right? So for example, let's say you took English in high school. If you scored really well in high school, then, you know, that means that you can indeed communicate in English. So sometimes these universities will just accept that score itself. Finally, instead of the IELTS, they may ask for a different English language exam. So they may ask for like the PTE or like the Duolingo English test. So on. All right, so now before we get to the list, this is one thing I wanna make sure that you guys know, okay? To study in the UK, like, like I said, okay, you don't need IELTS, but to get that student visa, you do need to prove your English language proficiency. And the traditional way to do that is through IELTS. So if you're applying for a university, you know, where they don't require, uh, require IELTS and you're not planning to take the IELTS, you still need to somehow prove to the UK government that you can speak English. So these universities, like I said a couple minutes ago, they may use different ways to test your English language proficiency. Once they do, these universities or the higher education provider, HEPs, so these guys need to prove to the government that you know you are a student who speaks English. So they may give you like a written document stating that, okay, we have tested your English language proficiency and found you to be like proficient. And then you can, you know, submit that document to the United, to the UK government and then you know they'll they'll basically give you your student visa. So now here are the list of universities in the UK that don't require IELTS for you to study them. So you have the University of Plymouth. You have the University of Portsmouth. You have Swansea University. You have University of Warwick. You have London South Bank University. Now this is just five universities. If you want the full list of 15 universities, follow the link in the description to our blog where you know we've listed the entire list. And you can just go check out those universities and make sure that your program for your program, you know, they accept students without the IELTS. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like in this video if it helped you and subscribe to see more graduate degree program related content. Okay, bye-bye.